Monday Night Football Super Bowl rematch. Our man on the scene. What a lovely shot there in front of Arrowhead is Jeff Darlington. And I know you had a chance to sit down this week with Patrick Mahomes. How did that go, Jeff? Hannah, it went great. Uh, he's lovely. He <laughs> Look, I'm standing, though, by the way, in the parking lot of Arrowhead, and I will not be able to stand right here on Monday night without getting beer spilled all over me. This will be absolutely packed. That stadium will be lit up, and that is something, by the way, that Patrick Mahomes really reiterated. We're talking about a team right now that is obviously playing good football, but he recognizes that this team – can be playing better football. He recognizes that they need to get themselves primed for the postseason. And when the lights turn on behind me in our discussion, he also pointed out that this is when you want to see the best out of your team. Embrace this moment. Everything we work for is for this moment. Everything you went through to get here. Everything we did to get here. You're playing a team that's 8-1 and one in the Eagles on Monday Night Football. How much does this provide a barometer for what you guys are. Playing on Monday night, it's going to be about as close to a Super Bowl type feel that you can have uh, playing on, against another great team that we just played in the Super Bowl last year. You'll get to see where we're at as an offense, as a defense, and as an entire team. The biggest thing is you see how guys respond under the lights, and I think that's what gets you ready for playoffs and Super Bowl games. You may have heard there was a football game yesterday, and Taylor Swift was there. She is the newest Chiefs fan. The attention on the Chiefs right now, does it feel any bigger than, say, winning the Super Bowl twice? I don't think it feels any different. People see the whole Taylor Swift and Travis and they, and they make it a huge deal because it is a huge deal. I think it becomes a bigger deal to the fan bases than it does to the guys that are actually in the building. And I've been lucky enough to meet Taylor and see how good of a person she is. I think you understand why it's not become a distraction or anything like that because everybody cares about being the best they can be every day. But we'll see when we get to the off season, you know, maybe I'm like traveling to Europe to go to a concert or something. No, I was just sitting there ready for the ball. I was like this, like, where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? What is your relationship like with Travis? I honestly feel like he's, he's my brother. I mean, I talk about his family and my family have almost become one family because uh, the relationship that we have and how we've kind of became this, this brothers on the football field but off the football field as well. He doesn't try to be this Travis Kelsey Saturday Night Live guy. He just wants to be the, the, the guy that comes to play football every single day, and I think that's what makes him so special and why guys really gravitate towards him. We both love winning and we love competing, um, and I think that's what makes us have that same wavelength on the football field is we're going to compete to the very end. Let's go do it, Don. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You just be you. How does that apply itself to the football field? He sees the game like a quarterback. He just knows what I'm thinking back there when I'm playing the game and playing the, the quarterback position. I think it gives me the trust that I know he's going to change a route on the fly and I know he's going to be in the right spot. Hey, you're a legend, man. Stop. Congrats, man. Stop, you're amazing, man. Yeah, let's keep in touch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. Tom Brady used to talk about using the regular season to find the identity of the team. But how much do you subscribe to that philosophy? Let's go! I think these last few years, I've kind of got a better feel for that. You want to win every week is hard, and it's the NFL. Everybody can beat everybody. Um, but you want to continue to build all, all season long. The goal is to be playing your best football going into the playoffs. And I think if we continue to just work at it, um, the offense will get it figured out, and the defense will be even better, and we'll have a chance to make a run at it.